Okay, so now that we've um, completed the uh, majority of our section, so we've got the top completed, the banner, the navigation, we've also got this uh, HTML uh, section one, we've got the gallery. Okay, the final thing we're going to do is add a um, footer. So this is basically where people tend to put any of their social media links or any external websites or any other um, things they like to. So even a signature of the author, they can put it at the bottom over here. Okay, so what we're going to do now is firstly go to our HTML script. We're going to go to our footer section, remove this content because we don't actually need it. Uh, first, we're going to do is we're going to create a new div, and that div is going to be called social. So div class equals social. And close that off. Okay, so clearly, what we so it's obvious what's going to go in here. It's going to be our social links. So to create a social link, first we're going to do is create an a tag, which creates a link. Then we're going to give the reference of that link a href equals, um, and that's going to be the actual Facebook page. So wherever your Facebook page is, you need to put that in there. So https um www.facebook.com forward slash tutor in okay so forward slash tutor in that's um where my um facebook page is but if you've got your own facebook page you can put that in there so once you've done that, so I put my Facebook page, oops, sorry, put that wrong side. Okay, once you put your Facebook page in there, what you're gonna do is you're gonna close that off. So close that, and then you're gonna add a image tag. So IMG SRC equals, and then I'm gonna locate that image, which is the Facebook image here. Close that off, then I'm gonna close the A tag off. Okay, so let's just preview that quickly. Um, and there you go, you've got the Facebook logo here. If you click on that, um, hopefully you should go to the Facebook page. Okay, yep, there you go. It's gone to the Tutor and Facebook page, which I need to, okay. So as soon as you log in, it goes to the Facebook page. Now if we go back out of that, so now what we need to do is the same thing for all our other social links. So I'm gonna copy and paste that, copy, Paste that four times, and we're going to change this appropriately to whatever you have. So I've got Twitter. Obviously, the PNG is going to change, so it's going to be the Twitter PNG with two T's. Uh, Google. So plus dot Google dot com. Uh, that's for the Google one, and uh, finally the Pinterest. So if you have, if you do have a Pinterest, you don't have to do these accounts, but if you have um, the following accounts and websites, you can do that. Pinterest. Okay, now if I was to save that, oops, that didn't work. Oh, did wrong. Save and preview them. So we all got all four there now. Excellent. So we've got the social link. Uh, okay, if you noticed earlier, if I click on it will actually the website will appear um, in the same window okay so sometimes that may not be very user friendly and you would like to avoid that so what we can do for that is is once you've um, put the URL for the website in you do a new property target equals and then underscore blank and then close those speech marks off okay so target equals underscore blank let me just let's just preview that okay so what you notice once you click on that it will open up a new window so it doesn't use the same window it opens up a brand new window which can be a lot more easier to use and uh, user friendly if you do that so just copy and paste this four times now okay so that's created a blank page now so I've got the four social links now those social links first um, Wait, I need to firstly add the outside of social link. What we're going to do is create a new line. We're going to call it paragraph. We're going to, call, uh, we're going to put our put an ampersand and copy. 
Okay, if I do that, close that P off. Okay, you may be wondering what this um, and sign copy is. It's basically the copyright symbol. So if you look there, it's the copyright symbol, um, and that's how you create it in HTML. So that's the copyright symbol. Then I'm going to put uh, followed by 2016. Uh, 2016 dash my name. Okay, I'm the author. Uh, what should we do? Tutor in. Save that. Okay, so now my signature is there. So obviously now this is not how we want to look at it. We want it to look. We need to format it. We need to move the social link to this side and we need to format this text. So to do that, what we need to do is go into our styles. And in our styles, what we're going to do is we're going to style our social links. So first of all, what we're going to do is, uh, where's the social link? We're going to create a new one. So let's go to our footer. So a new style dot social, because that's what we called our class. And what we're going to do here is float right, uh, followed by, actually let's just leave it float right for now. Save now. Let's see. Okay, that's now floated to the right. So what we need to do is format this appropriately so that everything fits in there and that text is the appropriate format. So what we're going to do is go to our footer in here. Enter. Firstly, we're going to make this uh, line a bit more thicker. So we're going to put some padding. So padding. Okay, two pixels by ten pixels. Okay, so what that does is two pixels top and bottom, ten pixels left and right. Refresh that. Okay, it's made that now. Uh, okay, we need to close that off. Okay, so now that's appropriately formatted. What we need to do is change our font size as well. So in our footer, we're going to put font size. Uh, we're going to make it. Let's make it 16 pixels. Color white and font family Let's pick Arial. okay so hopefully that's formatted now yep that's formatted appropriately font size uh, t text align we want it to stay on aerials text align and we're going to do it left okay Check that. Oops. Okay, font. I can make it always make it bigger. So let's just try making that font bigger 20 pixels. Yep, that's fine now. Now, this we need to move down a bit. So, all we have to do here in the social link, we can just add some margin. So, all we want to do is add margin to the top because, as you can see, the let this is fine. This side, the bottom needs to move down. So what we can do is margin, uh, we can do the top, what should we do to margin at the top, but let's try 5 pixels for now, or we'll do 5 pixels all around, nope that's not enough, so let's do 10, oh that's perfect, okay so 10 pixels and that's it, so that's the foot on our complete, so now uh, we've got our whole web page or just one page our home page of our website now complete uh, with appropriate um, styles and appropriate um, coding okay so that's my tutorial is done what i'm going to do now if you look at the next tutorial is we're going to look at how we can link these pages together and have a multi-paged website